everyone hope you all are doing well so in this video we are going to solve problem of the day on the geeks for geeks platform so today's problem is reverse a sublist of a linked list right so first of all we will be understanding the problem statement then the logic part and then we will be proceeding to the coding part before proceeding further to the video make sure to subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed our channel till now and make sure to join our telegram community as well the link for the telegram channel is given in the description itself and you can follow me on linkedin and twitter as well the accounts has been mentioned in the description so with that note let's get started with the problem statement now so the problem says given a linked list and positions m and n we have to reverse the linked list from position m to n so basically there is a chunk that is given to you a sublist of a linked list is given to you and we have to reverse it for example we are having an input n equal to 10 This is the linked list given to us. The values of m and n are one to eight. It means from one to eight, one to up till eight, we have to reverse the linked list. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So here we do have till till this eight, right? So what we are having? See, this has been reversed. So we are having two, ten, eight, nine, three, five, seven, one, and then this remaining two five, right? So you can see even they have explained the same. The nodes from position one to eight are reversed, resulting in this sequence. Okay. Uh, let's have a look on our next example. So here we are having n equal to six. Linked list is one, two, three, four, five, six, null, and m equal to two, n equal to four. We are having here. So it means what? We'll be having one, and see this part we have to reverse, right? Two to four. So we'll be having one, four, three, two, five, six. So nodes from position two to four are reversed, resulting in one, four, three, two, five, six. So whatever task is, our task is to complete the function reverse between, which takes the head of the linked list and two integers m and n as input and returns the head of the new linked list after reversing the nodes from position m to m. Right. So I hope the problem statement is clear for you. So now let's understand the logic part. So let's say this is the linked list we are having, right? And here the value of m is two, and the value of n is four. It means two say four. This part, right? This part. So what would be the output for the same? The output is going to be one, four, three, two, five, six, right? So that's what we'll be having. Now we will try to understand it, like how to approach it. Let's do one thing. Let's you know do the reversal one by one in a sequence. So first. You know, if we are changing this value, three, two, so we will be having what? One, three, two, one, three, two, four, five, six. Okay. Next, we'll be proceeding further. So we have what? We have four, right? So four we are gonna place between one and three. So we'll be having one, four, three, two, five, six, right? And that's what our answer is. That's what our answer is. Now. So we need then we need this sequence and this, like this is how we are moving in the phases. Okay, the first, the second one. Now, uh, what we can do basically here, so we'll be taking the help of three pointers. So the first one, m value is what here two. So this is our current pointer. Next is previous one, previous pointer, and this is the next one. Okay, so here if you will observe right in this one, if you will observe right, so two is pointing to this. The next of two is what four. The next of two is what four. It means what we can say. This is current and this is four. It means we can say that current dot next we want as next dot next, right? This is clear. This is properly visible. Then here if you will see three ka next is two. What is three? Three is next. So it means what? Next dot next is what? Next dot next is what? Pre pre dot next pre dot next. Next of next is what? Pre dot next. That is two. Okay. So then we are having what? So like that has been fixed. That has been fixed. One the next is the next of one is what? Three. So we can say one is what? Prev. So prev dot next is equal to what? Next, next. So, prev dot next equal to next, right? 
next time next time what is going to happen we'll be increasing like the next value is going to change like let me write here so after doing this operation we'll be having this this sequence 1 3 2 4 5 6 and we're going to change the value of we're going to change the value of next x well right so next value we're going to change and next will be what now 4 next will be 4 now and the prev will remain as it is the prev will remain as it is the current will also remain 2 okay so we are going to follow this step again this is step again so current dot next we are having next dot next so what is what is next dot next 5 and what is current 2 so you can see 2 arrow 5 means 2 ka next is 5 and that's what we have written here then we want next dot next we have mentioned next dot next equal to pre dot next so what is our next now 4 4 and pre is what 1 so 4 4 next is what 3 you can see 4 the next of 4 is what 3 that is also correct then prev dot next equal to next what is the value of prev 1 itself so we are saying um, prev dot next equal to next next is what 4 1 to 4 right so you can see just these three statements right i hope that is clear for you i hope that is clear and we are able to get our expected answer the expected link list that we will get after modification now one case to handle here is that what if the value of m is 1 right if that is 1 then like how you will manage this prep value this this prep pointer so for that we will be taking a dummy node okay so we will be adding a dummy node as well so that we can handle this scenario as well when m value is 1 right so this will be the current uh, node in that case and the dummy node the that we're gonna add that will be the prev node and that is not even going to affect anything right if you are adding this dummy node that is not going to affect your answer we can simply return dummy next dummy dot next as the answer right so i like i hope the problem statement was clear for you and even you are clear with the logic part if still if there's any problem take some link list right any test test case you can use and follow the same sequence like take your copy pen then probably you will better understand it right so yeah do a dry run then you will better understand it so now let's understand the code part now that is almost same right that we just discussed so this is our function reverse between and here we are having this node m and n values so first of all like if head value is equal to null then simply we are returning null otherwise see this is the dummy node that we are using okay and the prev value we are initializing with that of prev value we are initializing with that of dummy okay so dummy dot next we are mentioning is okay dummy dot next we are mentioning is head okay now we have to find out the prev value right we have to find out the prev value right uh if there, like in case when m value we were having as two three something like that right so this is the loop for finding out the prev value so int i equal to zero i less than m minus one i plus plus and we are simply incrementing changing the value of prev okay now we need start so start is going to be what start value is going to be what simply prev dot next like when i was explaining we were having one two three four five like, like this right so m value in that case was what two so if that is prev so obviously prev dot next will be our current value right that is two so here we have mentioned it as start okay and one two three so this will be our next right so that's what uh, i have mentioned here that node next value is equal to what start it, this is our start right start dot next okay so we are having all the pointers that we do need now till when we have to continue our reversal process right so that would be up to n minus m times for example where we were having when we were discussing that test case so n value was what four and m value was what two, right so we will continue in this loop i value is less than that of n minus m now here we are just following the same process right so start dot next equal to next dot next next dot next equal to prep dot next prep dot next equal to next and we are updating the value of next as well start dot next and at the last see we have added this dummy dummy uh, variable right so what we are doing is we are simply turning at the end dummy dot next okay so this was the complete code for the approach that we discussed i hope that is clear for you still if there's any confusion do watch the video again do a dry run and then 
i'm sure that you will be able to understand thank you so much for watching keep learning and in case of any doubt so i provided the code in the description so you can take a reference from there as well thank you